Hi everyone and welcome back to Octavia and the Underworld Cello version 2.0 or demo version 2.0. That's important for me to mention that it's a demo, not the full version. Uh, last time I got access to the second floor and now I'm just going to get rid of uh, the lamp oil and the uh, matches because I don't think I need them anymore. I think the matches are an ingredient actually. And I think I'm going to have to use it one more time for the Sun's Kiss potion because uh, who knew grenades could be so useful? Yeah. Anyway, let's go upstairs. Actually, no. You know what? I want to go left first. Yeah, I figured. I figured it'd be just right there. It's feeding off the head that you got the study key from earlier. What do you know? When it goes hungry for too long, zombies may resort to can cannibalism. Cannibalism. Mm-hmm. Can I look at it? It rips apart the skin, eagerly lapping up in the fetid juices. Oh, come on. I've got to. It's a bit too fast right now. Okay. Ignore the kid. Uh, he, he might appear randomly in the mansion right now. If he does, that's kind of dangerous. Because it, it means I might get, like, permanently stuck if he, like, run into him. Wander into a room furnished with entertainment, paraphernalia, and a billiard table in the center. The sport of princesses, huh, Octavia? Oh, come on, really? Will that reduce my uh, insanity meter, at least? Very well, you remove a cue stick that isn't covered in spiderwebs from the rack and head to the other side of the table. I've seen this cutscene in a demo. You must either be brave, non challenged, or just plain ignorant to pick up a cue at a place like this. Ow. Game over. Ouch. You sure is jumpy for a snooty little mare. <laughs> Are you right, Octavia? No, you don't. You are quite lucky nothing dangerous took advantage of your unconscious state. Okay, who are you? Zoinks! <laughs> be careful, although he's not attempting to scare you out of your wits, he is not to be trusted. Ah, uh, my insanity meter is already, always, already very high right now. What about this? A simple drawer for stashing games and knickknacks? A monochrome painting of two ponies playing chess. Hmm. Perhaps. I think he's trying to say he really likes chess. Of course not. Call him like I see him. Uh, let's check out the drawer, I guess. It's got a chess and checker and a cue. Or something that's like that. It's a broken cue, yeah. Okay, I'm basically a long stick. Stack board of games. I heard they like to partake in eating contests. I'll pick this up. Can't pick it up? What about me? You can move the pieces for me. They are the worst to play against because you can't do anything if they are cheating. Uh, okay, and one more place to look at. No, too spooky for me. Not for now, it's uh, I'm not ready. And I'm probably gonna have to do something with these things. Menu one put ball. Am I gonna have to play with this at some point? I guess. How about up here? Oh, it's, it's back here? Hold on, let me go back. Oh, it's like a door? Okay, okay. Fair enough. Hmm. The clapped ceiling combined with debris and furniture blocks your path to the left wing. An attic door, it is closed. And the infirmary. Uh, I'm gonna go back and to the study to refill my meter because it's a bit high right now. Gotta keep Octavia happy. Okay, let's check this place out. First aid cabinet. Maybe there is. In fact, maybe something that can restore our insanity meter. A bathroom sink is your sanity going down the drain. <laughs> Got a sinking feeling. 
Just quotes everywhere in this place. This platform isn't exactly sanitary, but it's usable. How about here? Wish I could take a bath right now. Unfortunately, we're renovating over here. It's a toilet. No, well, that was a rather cut and dry. Aren't you gonna make a joke or something? Say something witty? Ah. Uh huh. That's terrific. Also, I can look down here. What's this? Remember, don't go crazy with that thing, Octavia. I've become death destroyer of bugs. Aha! Uh -huh. It's a jug of clean ammonia. It'd be nice to have this when the house was in a stable condition, but it's too little too late. Okay, the spider is not a bug, so clearly I'm supposed to use this spray can on bees. Right? Right. Shadow behind the battle curtain catches your eye. Trying to really hard to ignore it. Uh-huh. I, I can't look at myself for some reason, though. Pony pen, pony aid. Opening the first aid cabinet for the first time, you uncover a treasure trove of medical supplies. Mm-hmm. I can only take two more teams, though. A roll of gauze, perfect for large open wounds. Huh. Pony pen. I think pony pen is what I want. Because uh, something will probably happen if I use this uh, uh, insecticide against the bees. What about here? Oh, oh, okay. You make the mistake of looking into the toilet. It's filled with stinging, dirty water that hasn't been flushed in months. Yeah, even looking at it myself, it kind of makes me want to puke. Okay, time to look uh, over here. Bad up as a curtain with a horrifying yet familiar silhouette. Press the button. P -p Press the button. With a lump in your throat and chill through your body, you prepare to move aside the curtains. It was just a trick, yeah? Except then a zombie popped out, right? Oh. Oh, there's something inside. Oh, it's another squirrel? Oh, it's good. Cool, cool. What is it? Bioacid. Dirty rings. Okay. Fair enough. I'm out of here. All right, for, for first things first, I'm, I'm actually going to try to use the insecticide, see what happens. You take out a can of insecticide and attempt to get close enough to spray. Unfortunately, the high mind sees what you're up to and decides to retaliate before you can make a move. Oh, the, the head is sort of alive. You slam the door behind you, you hear many stingers pierce the wooden door from the other side, much like darts hitting a wall. After a few minutes of flying around on the other side, they buzz off back to their hive. The hive mind is keeping her only eye on you, so if you are going to try and get rid of it, you must be discreet. <laughs> the head is the hive mind. Alright, so it's not as easy as it looks to get rid of the, the bees. I have to like be hidden somehow. Put this inside. And I'm already out of space. I might have to like put stuff back at their original locations to make like use of them. Anyway, I've got a new scroll. Let's see what it does. Terrific! I can't actually do anything with the green scroll. It's not ready. It's just like, oh, you got a scroll, but. It's still a demo, you can't do anything with it. Too bad. In fact, I think I'm reaching the tail end of the demos, like, the stuff you can do in the demo. A bit unfortunate, but... What can I say? Just notice, there's only three bottles up here. Well, two left, but there's only three. So that means, that's a, am I gonna only have to, like, be able to use three potions in the entire game? Or am I gonna have to, like, figure out another way to use some other potions? Or perhaps... These things are going to eventually come into use. Maybe. Because that, that means there's exactly six potions, assuming those things count, which enters six squirrel, squirrels. 
So every scroll is only going to be used once, I guess. Maybe maybe one or two will be used twice or three times even, but with the amount of uh, different potions available, there's not very much stuff uh, available. Anyway, there's pretty much only one thing left for me to do right now. Play poker or whatever game that, that pony up there wants me to play with him. Actually, wait. Let's see what happens if I go back here. Okay, the bees don't care. Fair enough. It's a door that is currently locked. There are no keys. There are no keyholes. You can investigate the wreckage. Wreckage. You try to move aside the wooden fissure, but it will not open the way forward. Go around. Well, let's see what happens if I try to touch this. The hell? Um, reset, reset, reset. I'm supposed to put them in in order or something. I, I'm, I guess I'll try anything. And if Octavia dies because of it, then that's terrible. I'm terrible. This isn't exactly like the game uh, I've known, though. I'm not good at it myself. Oh, uh, let me guess. I'm supposed to, like put the numbers in so that it's equal everywhere something like that well I did it randomly and it didn't do anything anyway so this give me this game right here is probably not complete I bet, I bet. it does like keep it in uh, in mind what you did though pull cues lining up against the wall they haven't been used for so long the spider the built many webs on them fair enough what about a clock the hands of the clock are stuck on 12 not for me, I know exactly what time it is. Time to get a new clock. Okay, you. L let's see what you're capable of. Sure, what's the harm in it? Uh, I'll do this one. Maybe a different answer to me, but the mere sight of him prevents you from speaking. Oh, come on, really? So nothing, it doesn't matter. I better not mention that I bring, brought a friend. We? Come on, Octavia. You're screwing me over here. Yeah. This is exactly what I didn't want you to do, Octavia. Why are you being so honest? You can't trust this ghost. It's a ghost. A ghost pony. Mighty admirable of you to do. That ghost is getting to you, Octavia. I guess I'll talk to Vinyl to see if she has anything to say now. Anything new to say. No, you are not, Octavia. No, you are not. See? See? Octavia, come on! Too careless, Octavia. Too careless. Don't listen to him. He's turning your fear and uncertainty into a weakness. Deep down, you have to be able to turn around any negative outcome. Alright, but I ain't stopping you. But I ain't enough to get some rain. You need to have luck on your side. Well, I would like that information, yes. 
Beat me three times out of five rounds and I'll spill everything. Hmm. But if I lose, I bet it's instant dead. How do I play? Yeah, sure, why not? I know how to play bar Blackjack, but you know, sometimes they might change the rules. Okay, so it's just Blackjack, so that's largely luck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys know how blackjack uh, works? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure some most of you do. It's a pretty simple card game. So wait, I'm the priority then. Mm-hmm. Okay, I don't think the insanity meter rises when you're playing with this guy, but potentially. You know, I just want to talk to Final before playing with that guy, and I think that'll be at the end of me playing this. There, there might be a bit more left, but uh, I think I've shown enough. The game is not complete. There's, I'm running into lots of stuff I just can't do, like going through the store or looking at that squirrel there. I figure it'll be enough. Oh, he's gone. Terrific. Well, the severed head of his flesh picked clean. There is nothing but a hollow skull. Brass Winds, that's his name, huh? I'm pretty sure Skull will still come to life, but I don't know that. Anyway. Final. Final. Oh, now I can click in the middle. Uh, need help with something? Okay, cool. Got a bunch of stuff to talk to her here. Let's, let's see. Oh, and there's also China plates. Hmm. Anyway. Final, there's a beehive outside. A beehive made out of a pony's hollow skull. Yeah, we already know that, Vinyl. How can I be sneaky, though? Mm-hmm. Actually, I, don't, I think the zombie cult is completely gone now. No, I do not. I don't want to do that. Actually, what Octavia means is that she doesn't want to disable it permanently. Throw throw something at it? Play, it, play the song with your cello? I bet that's what you have to do. Because it wants its mama. And, uh... I'll talk about that later. Hold on. Hmm, maybe I can do something with the pool table then. Uh-huh. Secret code, huh? Okay, I think I got it. Okay, so, got mom, the cult, and dad here. Mom has seems to have the same color as, as Octavia. I'm guessing it's gonna eventually gonna come up where I'm gonna have to like pretend to be the mom. Maybe either that or I play the cello to the cult, and the cello will be like a limited item. So that means that uh, you can either go around with the cello to pr to pr protect yourself from the cult, or you have an extra space for another item, something like that. I I'm just guessing at this point. Maybe this will work? That's not gonna work. Medicine to treat severe allergies. Well, I know what this is for now. It's in case I get like stung by the bees. I 
I'm pretty sure that uh, if you get caught by the swarm, though, there's nothing that can save you. Like, all the bees coming up to you, that's... There's no way you can get saved from that. Well, these flowers killed me last time. I don't know what the puzzle is with these, but... I don't know. I guess it doesn't really matter. It, it'll come up later. This, this flower looks a bit suspicious, though. Look, it's, it's like the flower is a bit uh, cut off. It could be just like a uh, narrow, though. Hmm. Simple portrait of a conductor hangs on a wall. Negative attention and blame you would receive should anything go wrong. Um, I'm guessing the, the text is never supposed to go up here. Like, it's just like, it's supposed to go down there. There's a few lot more, like, typos and whatnot uh, up here, because it's a new area. Well, can't take that. Okay, time to play with this guy, and I think that'll be it for me. There's There may be more content, I know, but uh, I just have to, like... I think I've shown enough. Yep, yeah, sure, why not? Time to get a game over. Tan, my sorry hide. Hit me. Okay, I've got... 19. I'm gonna stand. Dang it. Uh, hit me. Hit me. Uh, I'm gonna have to stand. Cool. That's one for me. That's... Jack is... Jack is a 10, right? Yeah, I'm gonna have to... Ah. Uh... Uh, hit me. Okay, so you don't actually lose anything if you lose this against this guy. It's just luck. Fair enough. Just gonna keep playing until I win. I guess if you lose repeatedly enough, he'll eventually give you a game over. And it is by luck. Goodness gracious. Stand. Of course it's not bad. I mean, look at my number. Hit me. Hit me! Stand. Ah. It's because there's so many cards that constitute a 10. Like here, I got two cards that are 10s, so that's 20. When you get a high... Good... The good first two cards, then uh, you're pretty much safe. Like here, I've got nine, so it's safe. Now I've got eleven, so a, a ten would be excellent right now. And it actually, that's just a one. Great. Now a ten is the worst thing I can get. Oh, but this is this will be safe. Good enough. There. Okay, one more, one more. But uh, he's got two as well. I have to stand with that? Ah, oh. Go ahead, stand. Phew! I win. Whew. Don't get a straw head. You got really kind of lucky. But a win is a win, yes. Okay, so it's all luck, this game. But it is fun, and you have infinity chances. And I don't think the insanity meter ri rises. Mm-hmm. Oh, come on. Seriously? One more game? Well, it is fun. Oh. Couple of magic scrolls, huh? Well, I can't even use the second one. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm just gonna chat with him then. Tell me about yourself.
How did you die? And I'm thinking there's supposed to be a interrogation point right there. Question mark. Interrogation point is French. <laughs> Then make myself scarce. Put a knee on a knee. Half a million bits, huh? <laughs> well, it seems they were right about him. Of course not. So what happened to the money? So what happened to the money? Yeah, but what about the money, b buddy? You had a bunch of money, didn't you? Oh, okay, fair enough. <laughs> Well, I wouldn't say getting bitten by a rattlesnake was what he rightfully deserved. He deserved a few other things besides that. It's just convenient that he died anyway. Oh. Well. I'm just checking this out. Lots of dialogue here. I'm guessing this video is really just going to be a bunch of dialogue here. And I'm going to end my playthrough of this demo. There might be a few more things left for me to do. And if you guys want me to do it say so in the comment section below it but you're probably aware of it if you do that but i think i've shown enough because i'm running out of places to go everything is locked off and if i solve a few puzzles it's not i'm, I'm still gonna eventually like get uh, blocked i'm guessing we can probably do something with the pool table maybe but i don't want to guess that You know, it's a good thing my insanity, me insanity meter doesn't rise while I'm talking to this ghost. Because if it did, well, Octavia would be... Well, she'd be insane at this point. Maybe it is rising, though. Maybe I'm just not noticing it.
You have a lot of text, buddy. I'm sure some people are interested in this, but... I don't think this information is actually relevant at all. I guess it's just like... For people who are interested in... Like, uh, stories and whatnot. Okay, good, good. I've got lots to talk about, buddy. Let's talk about something else. I had enough about you, but some people might not. Okay, so there's just one more thing. Tell me about the undead. Two things. Unintelligent? <laughs> Intelligence? I'm pretty sure there's a, another I in there instead of an E. Privilege? Part of the reason I'm doing this is to, to like to seek out all the spelling mistakes and whatnot. It, it helps, you know, for the final product. For a game like this, the dialogue being crystal clean is quite important. I mean, the last Attorney game, uh, Ace Attorney game, uh, Dual Destinies, I think. The one on 3DS, the first one that came out for in North America in digital only. There was a spelling mistake a few, in a few places, and people went crazy over that. If it one were to bite you, I think that might be just in purpose though. I'm guessing this game is gonna have multiple endings if you're like how depending on how fast you do everything or how you do them basically. I'm gonna go now. Yep, insanity meter hasn't revised. Okay, I think I think that's it for this game. This this demo I've shown quite a bit. There's probably a bit more that I could I could show, but I think I'm gonna play this again when it's like the full version or another demo. I I, I do wonder how long this game is going to be. I I I think there's gonna be like three acts and this is like roughly the beginning of the second one assuming the second act starts from when that cutscene played just gonna make this a bit longer here i forgot to give my thoughts on the new demo just as i was ending my playthrough of it i like the direction the game is taking here of time 1000 i think my only dislike is that cutscene after we killed the timber wolf it's not specifically because of its length or what it spoils it's mostly because i feel shifting the perspective like that ruins the immersion uh, of being Octavia, or her voice in her head, I guess. All the events of that cutscene, I feel they should have been optional, and that you could find out about them by t talking to Vinyl with the dumbwaiter after the moment they could have played. I, I forgot to do that, unfortunately, but uh, still, that's probably what I would have done to find some more stuff out about the game. And it's probably my major criticism, my only criticisms of the demo. I, I don't particularly mind if this cutscene is still in the final version, it's just that I would have done it like I described a moment ago. Another thing, some more indications and clues could be neat, especially for the recipe segment. Like, when I was trying to use the knife to cut up the fragments of the matches after I crushed them, 
maybe a hint about what I could or should have done would have been neat. I don't think immediately crushing the matches leads to anything useful, so a prompt before crushing them saying if I, if you crush these, you'll get uneven amounts of these ingredients. That, that that could help. That could that would like lead to the like hint inside the scroll that reads all the way at the end. You know, the one that says that you need even fragments. I guess it might make it too obvious though. As it stands, it was probably one of the tougher things to figure out due to me being able to crush them with no prompt. Everything else is pretty good. It's, it's, it's great. I guess another zoom in in the room with the channel plates would help since I missed out on the second word for quite a while as well. That being said, keep up the good work and I'm looking forward to the rest. Uh, for everyone watching, if I missed out on a major amount of stuff and you want me to continue playing this demo, then say it in the comments section below. Otherwise, if you want to play this game yourself, there is a link in the description to a video that has a link to the game. Otherwise, hope you've all enjoyed this and hope you all have a very nice day. Bye-bye.